Hey, what's up everybody? Jerry here, Views from the Couch, back again with another video for y'all. What's up guys, what's up? So we got a special one today, guys. We are gonna give you our first impressions and our thoughts on the Mandalorian season one and two. Disclaimer, disclaimer we're we're not hardcore fans. We're we're not all the lore. Yeah, so all the nice. lore, all the details, nitty gritty. We're just we're just people who like watching Star Wars. It interests us a little enough to do a video on the Mandalorian. We thought it was really cool. Uh, back a uh, background about me and Star Wars. I had I've been I, I I've been watching Star Wars my whole childhood. Grew up with the original series and sequels and all that. Um, how about you? That was mostly the games that got me into Star Wars. Um, that was so much fun and oh yeah, and yeah, but yeah, so like, much like, like like Joe was saying, the movies really helped out a lot. Definitely, I I, I really like the I really like the prequels. They're really I don't care anybody said I think the prequel have their place and they have their reasons of being there. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it was cool um, seeing the black uh, a black Jedi master with a purple lightsaber. That, that was that yeah, was awesome. who eventually held the fate of the whole galaxy in his in his hand until it got chopped off. <laughs> <laughs> oh Could man, have a whole lot of stuff. What that would have been the end of everything. Yeah. Yeah. At the end, I saw a meme where uh, Mace Windu was about to chop off. Uh, um, Palpatine uh -huh. and Anakin say, I, I won't intervene if you help me um, get my wife some medical help for, <laughs> for her marriage that you're just finding out about now. And Mace Windu just look at Anakin and say, Wife? Mother? He said, you, you know, uh, Samuel uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he's like, Motherfucker, <laughs> deal. And then you see the whole thing just in, it goes to the credit, you know, when Star Wars goes to the credits, that's the end of the whole series. Oh my and they just made that, they just talked it out. <laughs> they just talked it out. Yeah. Today, guys, oh we, we're, just, we're just gonna talk about The Mandalorian season one and two. It lives up to the hype. Mm -hmm. This is one thing that I can say that lives up to the hype. They take a really good care of the story of, fans, of Star Wars everything. in general. Uh, yeah. They obviously have a love for it. They yeah, you can tell. Each episode is crammed with so much little detail, bro. It's crazy. Watching this show, it makes you explore Star Wars even more, and it makes you feel. Oh like, yeah. It makes you feel like this down. It's very welcoming. Mm, from the first episode, they really set the tone, the mood. When he's walking into that bar, in my mind, I'm like, oh, a show about the Mandalorian. So, like, what what are they gonna do with that? That's like that. That sounds boring. Like. I don't want to watch that. Next thing you know, they killed it first episode. He's walking through that bar. He he's this cool guy. Everyone's quiet. They're like, oh shit, yeah, this, this guy. Is, yeah, he's fresh. Yeah, and then he says the he says the line, man. He said the one line. He said, "You can I can either get you cold or I can get you warm." And then I was like, damn, that's hardcore. What what are highlight ep highlight episodes that sh that really stood out to you? Episode with the spiders. I forgot what episode that was. Am I under arrest? Technically, you should be. But these are trying times. <laughs> it's stuff. It's stuff like that that give you more of a more of a deep look into the world of Star Wars. What I also want to talk about from um, also with the Mandalorian is all the side projects that are coming out of just this one's show. In the Mandalorian season two, um, mm -hmm. it basically was its show, it was the Mandalorian show, and it also was, I really got to say, introduction these other, to yeah, Boba Fett. Yeah, yeah, introduction, yeah. introduction this, yeah, to this. When Boba Fett came, and I like, I like when he finally got his armor back, um, a couple episodes later, he he reconditioned it. It, mm -hmm. it looked brand new again. Because because yeah, yeah, in the beginning, yeah. I saw, I was like, man, that armor been through so much. How is it still functional? I'm like, whoever crafted the, the Mandalorian that crafted that armor, they really did a, 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 the craftsmanship. Cause that thing was functional. It had all its tools. It had like the cool knee rockets. Uh, oh my gosh, so many things was working on that thing. I was like, wow, impossible. I think they did a good a good amount of justice for Boba Fett. This is the Mandalorian everybody fell in love with first. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm glad that they brought him back. I yeah. mean, a lot of it seems like sometimes some characters die and some, some characters come back. So mm -hmm. that's the case with Star Wars. The season finale of season two. Mandalorian. What did you think? Season finale of season two. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it was it was so unexpected. Like I was watching it, I was chilling. I wasn't really watching it, watching it. I was more on my phone, like just wow. chilling. But but as it progressed, I kept paying less attention to my phone and watching it. And until the point, I was like, "Yo, what are they doing? These guys are doing some crazy stuff right now. This is kind of cringy." Mm -hmm. At first, that's what I was telling myself. I was like, "Yo, they kind of lost it. They, they they're doing a lot in this episode. They they don't capture a whole shit." Um, the the dark troopers was with, with the fighting and all that. I was like, how they blew them off. Mm -hmm. I was like, yo, yeah, I'm I'm glad they got rid of the dark troopers because <laughs> they looked like they was hard to animate. Yeah, yeah. And I felt like, oh, that's a clever way to get rid of them. And then he broke the other the other other one's neck. And then um, and then when they came back. In the in the space thing, I was like, ah, oh, damn, they're back. Oh, damn, they were scared. I'm like, yo, these guys are OP. They made the Mandalorian and all his gears and guns look like nothing. Yeah, I was like, how, how they gonna have if they if, if he solo with just one? Yeah, they're it, dead. It, yeah, it was gonna be game mm -hmm. over. And then um, out of nowhere, you, you see, see the, the ship. As soon as I seen that X-wing, uh, I was like. I was like, I knew that was Luke Skywalker. I knew it. Not me. I was, I, I was still lost. As soon as I saw it, I was, I was like, like, I was like, like the X Wing gave it away. The X Wing gave it away. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just like, it didn't like, give it away for me. I was and, just, and like, then they said the line, only one X Wing. Once they said only one X Wing, that should have been in your mind, like, yeah, it's Luke. Like, um, and then when they showed the CGI, I was like, Ooh. Yeah, the Ooh. moment that he put the, I was like, guys, I, I, I was like, I was, I wanted to like it, I, I wanted to like it, but I couldn't, cause it looked so awkward. It looked very, very awkward. It was, I was like, damn, that scene must have been awkward to film, Man. right? It must have been very, cause I was the whole moment. I'm like super crazy. I'm like, oh my god, I, I wish they just hired a lookalike Luke. Yeah. That's all they had to yeah. do. Just hire a lookalike. It's not that hard. It, it, yeah, I think it would have been better if they hired. Yeah, give somebody an opportunity to play as Luke. Mm -hmm. I think like, I think the money that goes into that CGI work is um, you probably get funded a lot more with the movies than with the show. I mean, you know the show. Come on, Disney. You make so much money, and this is making you so you, much money right now. You no, might as well no. give them more money. The, the show is already getting movie productive, movie production uh, budget. Yeah, budget. But, but the but the CGI um, looks like a face. It didn't work out for me. It looked like um an old PS One game. And they had yeah. Once R two came out, like oh I forgot all, all about R two. Yeah. I mean, I was, oh R two, nice. Cool. Uh, it just it so, just paint that picture in your head what Star Wars is all about. Mm -hmm. It's a Jedi and they're droid. And I feel like I feel like to this, me. Yeah, I feel like this show had earned it earned this right with season one already. It earned this right with the first episode of season one. It earned his right to be placed up on the Star Wars great. Like, it deserves to be, like, I'm glad they have Luke's character in it. I thought it was also poetic, too, how uh, Master Yoda trained Luke, and now it's Luke who's going to train uh Oh, yeah, that's uh, pretty Gargo. cool. So it's, yeah. it's, it's, pretty, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool for that term. Mm -hmm. But real quick, back to Luke. Mm -hmm. Let's just show you how powerful the Jedi are compared to these Mandalorian or any characters in the Star Wars universe. They made he made those he those made, those dark troopers look like yeah he was like trash everything. you know he cut he was cutting through them like butter like there was nothing there mm -hmm. wasn't a threat at all man I was like I was like damn these dark troopers suddenly not scary in my mind because in the beginning I was like damn these dark troopers are scary um uh, overall the Mandalorian is a very great show came in for season three guys that was our impressions slash reaction of season one and two hope you liked it if you have anything you want to add to it feel free to hit us up in the comment box anything we missed any your what you're expecting from season three let us know and let us know if you like this type of content also so views from the couch checking out